I wanted to show the performance difference between a DM42 and a DM42N. This one's the N, this one's the 42. Both of them have the C47, the latest version. Well, the latest version in the end of 2024 um, that is stable, no beta. And I wanted you to see some comparisons in terms of calculations. Um, the user interface is a bit different. I've been learning a few things on the software, but let's put them in a place where you can sort of see what's going on here. Uh, let's clear the stack and this one. Let me clear the stack here as well. Okay. Um, let's say a very big number like this. That's easy. That does it very nicely. To the power of 12. To the power of 12. Take the square root. You saw a delay there, didn't you? That was a bit of a delay. How about if we take the inverse? There was a delay there as well. Take the log. There you saw a delay as well. How much of the delay? Nah, not much. You might say that's, eh, that's not too bad. It isn't. It isn't too bad. And that's not something that you know, um, I was worried about on this camera and took the sign. Uh, let's divide. That took a little while. Multiply. Divide. Right. And what we're going to do here, and this is going to be a little bit hard to do, But I'm going to try my best to try to do the same type of operations. You can see the spacing is different. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Do you see that? It was a little bit, a little bit. That's not too bad, is it? That was a little bit slow. Whoa, that's a little bit slower. Still a little bit slow. I think what bothers me the most, I think, is when you're trying to do a calculation. Oh, let's delete that. It just tends to hang up a little bit. See that? Just a little bit to the point where it's a little bit um, annoying, right? Let's say I'm going to go random here. See that? It's really trying to catch up. And that's the thing that annoys me. 
Now let's compare it to this one. Boom. See how fast that was? No, no delay. No delay at all. Sure, that wasn't very scientific, but you can see, and if you, you, you can rewind it, that the DM42 is a bit slower. Yes, the processor's different, um, but the price difference is not too much. Um, I think the DM42N is the way to go. Of course, there's a difference in terms of connectivity. Uh, and another thing that bothers me where, where, and I've been told this is not going to be an issue with the final version, if there ever is going to be a final version. If we double click, I think, this and go to stats, right? Uh, no, actually, it's on, it's on, let me see, it's on probability. Yes, it's on probability. And then distribution, normal. Did you see that? Did you see how, how slow that was? I have never noticed that before. Let's look at that. Shift, probabilities, and then distributions. Wow, never noticed that. Normal. Wow, mm, that, that's something. And now, if we look very closely, let's see. Mm, both of them look fine. Okay, let's go back, exit. As you can see, the F, hyper, geometric, and Poisson are crossed out on the DM42. Well, the DM42N, it's not. And I know there's something to do with memory allocations or saving space, but I'm not sure if the DM42 is going to have enough space for functions like this. If, if you know, the statistics portion of the C47 on the DM42 do, doesn't seem to have a priority, um, perhaps, perhaps, um, that's going to be um, something they said, someone said at a very high level that they were going to have that fixed. Um, or their uh, memory allocations are going to be um, proper or something. Don't know exactly the, the right word because I don't do programming. But this is a bit disappointing. Um, because if you go on F here, you get all the F functions here. You don't get them at all. So if, you, if you're into stats, that's something that might make you want to go to the DM42N. And like I said, they're even, they, I was told that eventually the DM42 will have it. But it doesn't seem to be at a priority right now because there's other issues. Um, that they're trying to solve. But I think this is a, um, the DM42N is way more advanced in terms of polished and in terms of if you're doing, doing statistics and also the speed of the calculations, which was a bit annoying when I was um, doing some calculations. Um, you know, so just basic, basic calculations, look at that. It's still calculating. That's annoying. Not even a, not even a $20 calculator does that. Wow, still going. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A little bit slower. A little bit slower. Let's do that again. Let's do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A little slower. A little bit slower. Hmm. Now I'm think I'm thinking. It might be because it was on pro probability. Now I'm thinking it's, it might be because it's under the normal distribution area. Nah, it can't be. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm hmm. Definitely slower. Hmm. Maybe because of the different menus. Maybe because there's menus here and it has to like refresh that area. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. Very interesting, isn't it? So you can decide which calculator you prefer. Um, I think the DM42 is nice. They sold it for, you know, half the price. Be very dis decent, um, but a little bit more. Uh, new these two I think is well worth this new platform and I think there's another one right what is it the 32 or something like that where the they use the same chip chip but they have a different layout um, looks nice and uh, I saw a video recently that they're doing an R47 hardware version of this calculator maybe in the in the, in the future that's going to be interesting too. All right. I hope that was uh, interesting for you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section. I hope you have a great semester and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.